What's up guys, Dar Sizzle and Pudding coming at you in today's episode and today we are going on a bow hunt. I'm actually the one that's going to be hunting. I've got my left hand bow right here and we are after the invasive green iguana down here in South Florida. We've already filmed one video in the past. I hope you guys watch that video. But today we're gonna go after smaller ones, bigger ones, whatever we can shoot so we can eat it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start off up, uh, up by the airport in, in the South Florida water management a canal system, it's a huge system. If you guys have seen my house before, where we live, and that's part of the system too. We're gonna to take the boat up there, and then uh, hopefully we're gonna catch some, and Darcy's gonna clean them up, and I'm gonna cook them up. So we're gonna have a whole catch, clean, cook thing going on for you. Let's get uh, down to the ramp, and in the boat sizzle. Invasive species, catch, clean, cook. Invasive species. Let's do this. Catch, clean, cook. Get them, let's get them all. We haven't spotted as many iguanas as we might think. We've seen a lot of iguana holes. Yeah. But we see there's one up here in the cement, and Darcy's gonna, We're gonna take go first, for it. Take her first shot. Of course, <laughs> as in usual, Darcy's mode, she's taking no practice shots today. Come on! <laughs> so I'll suck in the beginning. So if you can first practice shot, make it count. Jesus. You weren't even close. That was really bad for the arrow. Now there's two there. You scared them so much they came one another one came over. All right, we're trying number two. Oh just missed your head. <laughs> I was afraid of this. Come on. Shush up. It's literally one foot. This is how a miler, world record miler, can jumps a yard. I don't understand what you're doing. I gonna jump? Put your foot right there and go. Let's go. I can't reach that far. Yes, you can. You're very, you're wildly underestimating yourself. That's nothing. <laughs> Are you guys watching this? This is the famous fisherman. Could we be any closer? <laughs> Holy cow! Don't make your old man do this. Yes, yeah, so difficult. That was hard. You, the good thing you weren't on Survivor. You. F what the? F so skittish. Oh my God. They're running there a mile ahead of you. What? I can see them jumping in the water ahead of you. How far ahead are they jumping? Far. All right. <laughs> and close. This is not very stable. It's very stable. I made it. All right, that was a fail. <laughs> All right, it's just trial and error over here. The little ones are too spooky, too scared. And apparently these are not used to seeing people because they start running and taking off like 100 feet away from me. It's crazy. All right, we can try to do this from the boat now. Jesus. <laughs> I suck. All right, at the total failure where we just went, uh, we talked to some people, and actually, I guess, people are hunting the heck out of these things lately, and people are paying a lot of money to go on these uh, iguana hunting trips, so it's not a lot of big iguanas anymore. But as soon as we get home, there's a monster iguana in our backyard. Yeah, like, with, 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 no joke. So Darcy's gonna give it a shot. Yeah. I fail, I suck. He looks a little skittish though, so we're gonna take our time here. It's okay. Walk up to him nice and slow. Just like that other big monster we shot last summer. Yeah, so we pulled the truck up and just stopped and re re rebooted to do this. Yes. He's like, you still got your mics on? Yes. Like, I'll set ready I to like go. I have money on the exterior. I got the exterior cable. Right. High level. I can still see him, not next to him. Let's get my handheld release, and we're gonna be quiet. What kind Very of release quiet. is that, Sizzle? Oh, oh, it's a uh, True Fire. The, True uh, Fire. The uh, label came off. It's a very expensive handheld release. These yeah. things are no joke. Fancy. He's skittish. He doesn't like us. So, which side I, should I approach from, and what side should you approach from? He knows you're here. Yeah. I would approach. I would go that way. 
and then come behind that tree. Block him from running that way. Well, I don't know if you're gonna block him, but I will come. He can't see you behind that tree. So go this way and then this way behind the tree. Okay. I'm taking my time. All this the all, fish and this, all the iguanas are here. There's also a massive gar next to the thing. Yeah. Jesus. This, I'm just gonna stay here for now. The I? world's biggest freshwater turtle lives here too. I'm the worst. Great shot, Darcizzle. I'm excellent at shooting things in the water now. Yeah, she's so good at hitting. Not so much on land. I'm too close for you, I know. She's so good at hitting things in the water now, she can't hit anything on land. All right. I'm gonna try to hit him from as far away as possible again. He's already spooked. It's okay. Turn us on. He's looking at you. Yeah, he's gonna jump again. But Let's go. Got him! Yeah. <laughs> if he's hooked, I don't know. Hold on, give me the. You want to give it to me? Is he hooked? He's gone. That was a headshot. He's gone. Is, he's gone? Yeah. Oh, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh, no, he's not. You got him in the head. He's right hey, there. Grab he's this, grab he's this. stoned, baby. Oh, my lord. Oh, my Sizzle, gosh. Look at that dude. shot. Look at that shot. <laughs> He's done. He's, He's done. Totally you done. don't even need to shoot him. Look at that, y'all. It only took like a half dozen misses to get this <laughs> lizard in the <laughs> best spot through his brains. Sorry, but they're so invasive that like, uh, you know, I am celebrating, but at the same time, getting rid of the invasive species and that he was euthanized the correct way with the bow. <laughs> Boom, that was so far away too. That was like, the perfect shot. Were you aiming for his head? You weren't aiming for his head. He was pointing, he was he was facing at me. Like he was looking like this. So I was aiming for his head. That's exactly what I was aiming for. Exactly what I was aiming for. All right. He's still moving around a little bit. All right, I got dinner. Don't mind me, just dragging lizards. Don't mind Darcy, just dragging lizards around. But again, getting back to uh, you know why you kill these things. Okay, okay they're, they're not native from here. People just left them out, like a lot of species around here. It's honestly a skinny one. They just leave their pets out, and they they eat all kinds of farm stuff, crops, all our flowers. You know, of course, that's not real commercial. They're not meant to be here, guys. Okay, uh, so don't get on us. Yeah, that. I said that. I know, I know. I'm just explaining it in a calm manner. <laughs> Please watch the video and listen to us. Yeah, and they also uh, dig. They burrow and they dig holes. And they just dig on the foundations of houses and destroy homes. They destroy the infrastructure of the buildings. Also roads and bridges and everything else and docks and seawalls and uh, so the FWC advises you to get rid of them. They're considered the pest here and you don't even need a license or anything. You just, you know, you just want to eradicate, you know, this area of them. Yep. So that's the story. Yep. That's a nice size one. There's way bigger boys here. Way yeah. bigger. All right, guys. All right. We're out in the yard trying to keep it quiet. Got a bunch of iguanas. One right over here. One middle and two or three of them over near the corner. We got so, like six to pick from right now. Yeah, so we're not totally sure. So I think we're gonna go for this one first. Yeah. All right. Well, he's moving. He's on the move. Let's get him. That's not in him? Got him. All right, here, here, here. Death roll, death roll, death roll. All set. Look at these other two just watching. I did it after failing a bunch of times, but just goes to show you that like I, this, those last three shots you saw me miss, this shows you how much the adrenaline affects you with the bow fishing and the hunting and I'm learning about that because as soon as you walk up to a big lizard, I start shaking and I literally missed those three lizards by like a millimeter each time. Finally got them, but we got them. And we got two more over here. We got another smaller male and, and actually a smaller female here. All right, good. So we're gonna go for the male and then the female, but they both just sat here and watched their friend get uh, obliterated, so.
Got him right in the head. I got him. Headshot. Number two. All right, our sizzle. We did it. We got two out of the six that were in the yard. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Not bad. They are stacking up. Um, but yeah, uh, after we shot that second lizard, the other one spooked out of the yard. So they just kind of come through in waves, as you saw that. There was a bunch in the yard all at once. And then for a couple of days, they're not here. But again, they just, they migrate and they move around this canal system. So let's show our lizards. Show them. Our invasive lizards. Okay, so here's that smaller male. Definitely a nice eating size right here, I think. Delicious. And then this guy was bigger, just hanging out in the shade there. But you can see their colors. See how pretty they are. The invasive green iguana. Don't watch this if you are a lizard fan or you have your own iguana pets. But now there is now a law in Florida where you're not allowed to keep any of these, any more of these as a, a pet. Because again, people just release them and they're so invasive. So it's nice to get two in one day. And again, I think this guy's gonna be delicious. I'm excited to try him out, see how he is. But yeah, let's get him in the cooler and um, get him ready to clean up for a catch, clean, cook. Green iguana. And we got our lizards all iced down, ready for the filet table to clean them up. Pulled the smallest one out to show you guys because again, We've already done a catch and cook with a giant iguana, and I hope you guys have watched that video, and if you haven't, go check that out. But we actually have an average size iguana here, so I'm excited to taste his meat, because again, that's what I've heard from quite a lot of people, that they're more taste, or the, the, uh, the meat is tastier. I don't wanna say the wrong words here. Okay, so let's dive right into this. Also, a lot of you guys have been commenting recently on just social media in general about salmonella and how these guys could carry salmonella. Well chicken carry salmonella like you know you guys eat chicken I'm sure and in the store you don't know how old that chicken is so you have a higher risk of actually getting salmonella from a chicken installed in the store compared to this lizard that's fresh I know exactly where he came from I literally just harvested him and he's been in my cooler so you know again the risk is there whether you're eating chicken or you're eating iguana no big deal Okay, um, so as long as we cook it through, uh, as long as we cook it all the way through, I think we're gonna be okay here. So let's just dive right into getting this guy prepared. So we're gonna eat the best parts of him today, which is gonna be the legs and the tail. That's gonna be the best. So with my fillet knife, I'm just going on either side of his joint, and we're gonna pop the leg right off. There's one. All right, same thing with the front side. There's a joint in there, just angle it down either side there's two flip them around the same exact thing on this side and you can actually see this guy was uh, shedding you can see that they shed their skin and they'll grow new skin and I'll find this in the yard quite a bit all the skin falling off of them pretty cool another male one of these days I would like to harvest a female see if she has any eggs that would be cool and there's another leg and the final leg. And you can also see right here, like how crazy those talons are. Just wicked. That tear you apart right there. But this one, you see it's all messed up. Here's his uh, other back leg. So you can see how resilient they are. He's totally missing a leg there. Two, two toenails. So just goes to show you that these guys, I don't know what happens to them. They get in fights with each other. They are aggressive. The males are aggressive, but you saw, you know, they're not too aggressive to the point where I can't actually harvest them. Okay, so now let's take the tail. Same exact thing. And I'm going right behind the uh, anal hole, a little further back. Cut down, turn them around. Just make a circle all the way around and we should be able to just pop that bone there we go broke that off okay we're all set all we got is his stomach and his head and his guts we don't want to eat that I, I know a lot of you guys also ask me like can you make leather out of all this skin and stuff I'm sure you could uh, for me I'm not interested in really doing that so I'm not gonna skin them like that at least not this particular time if you guys want me to skin them and see actually how they look and stuff which is actually pretty cool 
go ahead and drop a comment down below and maybe I'll think about that for a future iguana video. Okay, so now the next step is, we're gonna put the tail to the side, but we're gonna work on the legs now. And we're gonna get our the delicious meal ready for Brian in the house. We're gonna take off his claws. Cause we don't wanna eat that. All right, so there's one claw, two claw. And this is my normal fillet knife. Nothing special about the knife. Just you want a sharp knife, cut through those bones. Same exact thing over here. All right, there's his feet. Now we got our delicious meat. Now the next step is to just score them. And we're gonna take this shorter blade. And now we're gonna basically take the skin off. Skin is super tough. So again, you just want a sharp knife. Run it all the way down. And there we go. Now it's time to take the skin off. Let's just start pulling with my fingers and see how this goes here. I need to help with the blade a little bit. It's starting to come off. Very tough. All right. Boom. That was not as hard as I thought it would be. I initially did cut a little too further in when I first made that score mark, so a little bit of the meat got stuck on the skin, which made it a little more difficult to get that off. But there we go, we got a leg and we got some delicious iguana meat. Nice. Now let me just show you, I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the three other uh, legs here, but let's just go to the switch to the uh, tail to show you how to handle the tail. So with the tail, you know, the meat goes all the way back. We get this very long, thin tail, but we're not gonna go all the way back. We want the juicy stuff, which is, this is usually the best part right here. Very similar to what alligator tail is, what a lot of people say. So we're just gonna probably cut it right here, break the bone, and take that to the side. So that is probably all we're gonna eat right there. The next best part of the, meat, the lizard. And now, same exact little blade, and we're just gonna take that back strap off with all those little spines. And these are actually not even, not even hard at all. They're very uh, soft to the touch. I think it's just more for predators in their normal place where they would live, uh, just to make them look bigger with the, all these spines on them. So we'll cut that all the way down. Just make sure we break it. You see how I like broke it here, but I didn't break it there. So we just wanna make sure we go through there. So it comes off easy. There we go. All right, and then same exact thing. We're gonna go ahead and take the skin off this as well. All right, we're halfway down this tail. And it is initially tough once you start pulling it off the skin, but once you get some little leverage on the skin here and you're able to pull, it actually comes off pretty easy. Kind of reminds me of a catfish, I guess. Oh, it just ripped right there. Dang it. <laughs> we're almost there, we're close. All right, we got about 95% of that skin off the lizard's tail. Missed that little piece there, but you know what? That's not a whole lot of waste. A little bit of meat there, no big deal. But again, there's our lizard tail. We got the lizard arm or back leg. And now I've got three more to finish up, which you guys saw. I'm gonna do the same exact thing you just saw me do. This is the quickest and easiest way that I found to harvest the iguana meat quickly and efficiently, especially when you just wanna you know, make a delicious meal in the house. And again, we weren't trying to save his skin. So um, that's about it, guys. I am going to go finish up these guys and get them ready for cooking. We put it in the house because I know he's, he's excited to make us a delicious lizard lunch. LL. <laughs> lizard lunch. Score it this way. Another great job, Dr. Sizzle. Uh, not filleting that lizard, but uh, what do they call that? Cleaning lizard? There's a, there's a hunting term I'm sure I'm missing. You guys are going to yell you at me You get crazy that. circle eyes. I got crazy circle eyes, Darcy says. How do they look? It's okay right now. <laughs> well, it look like this. Anyway, the... Oh, my God. The ring light Google eyes in me. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right, let's move on. All right, great job. So, Sizzle on that lizard. You did a much better job than we did last time. And uh, welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. That's extra long for Miss Cantor. Anyway, all right, so today, guys, I'm feeling a little blue, but we're gonna get through this iguana recipe 
<laughs> nevertheless, this is one of those situations where the more you do something, the more you learn about it. Very surprising, right? This is our second time doing the iguana. And today I am making iguana tacos, all right? So uh, oh, let me get my taco shell moving. I love to heat up the taco shells in the frying pan with a little butter, all right? Turn it over, turn this up a little. All right, so to order to get the meat a little, a little tenderized, and I you know, obviously I Googled this just like everybody else does, right? If you took those parts that Darcy made out in, out in the yard there that she cleaned up, and I put them in, a, in some water, uh, boiling water, or not, not crazy boiling like spaghetti, but just you know mildly boiling, and I throw in some spice in there, just some onions, and, and uh, you can see here some salt and pepper. Didn't make a big stick out of it, out of it. put it in for about 40 minutes. And, uh, and, that, and that cooked the meat up real nice. And then we just separated it, just like you would if you were picking a chicken or, or, or anything else, or a chicken carcass or, or whatever, okay? And that made me up some nice meat. And, uh, and then we'll make our tacos, right? So I just threw it in the pan, and I got it still over here heating up a little bit, or staying warm. And just threw it in the pan with some, just some taco seasoning right out of the cabinet, no big deal. And, and, and it actually tastes pretty good, okay? So the meat is, is more tender, and I tasted it. We're gonna let Darcy do the, do the uh, honors of the final taste test, but we're moving right along. And we're at lunchtime here. It's Saturday afternoon. It's gonna be awesome. And after this, we gotta go pick up the traps. So these are the last day of the traps. So we're kind of always rushing, right? Just like everybody is. So as soon as, oh, oh, it's going good. It's going good. I got this heated up good. I like to just put the cheese on here while it's in here. Sizzle, come take a look. This is how Sizzle likes this too. So I flipped it. I'm gonna put some cheese here. Let that melt in there. Our sizzle loves this as well. And we're gonna take some of our Delicious iguana meat, and you know in the so you, cook, you cooked it twice. I kind of I, yeah, I just not I didn't really cook it here like this. I just added a little water and the spice, just to you know just to heat it up and just to get some spice on it. Really, it wasn't really that big of a. You don't want to overheat it, overcook it either, of course, because it's already gamey, and you're just going to make it into leather. All right, so we don't want to do that. But you know, and talking about you know in the comments, you know all these people are like I would never eat that. Blah blah blah. You know, similar to like Jack Ravals and everything. And guys. You, know, you gotta have an open mind about things. People in other countries eat these fish, eat these fish, eat these lizards all the time in the Caribbean and in South America and Mexico. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this to eat it. You know, it's, everything's about how you prepare it. You know, in other places they don't eat cows, you know, whatever. So here we go. We'll put a little lettuce on here. And I got some salsa. And we got a very nice, easy lunch right out of the backyard, right? So where's my fork, Sizzle? What you do with it? What you do with it? Mm. Here it is. It's buried under my taco. All right. So there we go. Little taco, iguana taco. Let's go over to the table and see what Dar Sizzle thinks. All right, Dar Sizzle. All right. I, I got to tell you that Dar Sizzle is not that excited about this meal. No, you are not either. <laughs> I can't he's wait to drink it. He's just pretending. He's pretending he's excited. No, I'm just kidding. It turned out better than I thought. We've it already was. we've already tasted it, but now it's time to taste it in the actual taco. And the best way to describe this, it really just tastes like super tough chicken. I'm not kidding, it tastes like chicken. Like, it does. It's not gamey, it's not anything. No. I just gotta take slower bites because my teeth are still healing. You I'm haven't very, taken one bite yet. I'm very close to healing, but I'd just rather talk about it first before I get into it. Because <laughs> I gotta take these little bites. It's ridiculous. I can't do what Brian's doing right now. It tastes like a taco. It's not bad, it, it is good. Um, I guess I was not excited to eat iguana because it's not like a fish, it's, it's a lizard. But um, <laughs> but again, there's quite a few people from all different countries that eat this on a regular basis. There's even local people that live in Florida from Mexico and people from the Caribbean and people that actually physically go hunt these people. and eat them on a daily basis right here in South Florida. And, and, so, uh, and we actually saw that just as well. On the first day we went iguana hunting, we couldn't see them. Yeah. And our friends all told us that I guess they're selling them for like six dollars a pound, and people are, are everyone's killing them now. Yep. And uh, you know just they, because you're supposed to, because they're pests, or right. to eat them. Now they don't have a program currently to to you know pay you to go kill these the go harvest these animals. Right. So right now a lot of the local charter captains in the area are running green iguana hunting charters yes. by land and by boat. So if you're interested, just Google that up. You can come down here and do that with any local captain that will take you. Um, a lot of public lands to do that on and a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. So, yeah, but really good, delicious. I actually have um, stitches falling out of my mouth as we speak right now, so it's just <laughs> really weird eating on camera. I'm gonna stop. Um, but, right, let's, um, get, let's get it wrapped up, Sizzle. It was delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching Hold on, this. sponsors.
Land Shark. Don't forget to check out Josh Sizzle's website and don't forget the Smith's Code and all those wonderful knives we used to make the tacos and to clean the lizard. Yes. That's it. And the Revos. <gasps> we, don't forget the Revos, Darcy 30. We have a great code. Summer's coming. Get your sunglasses. For 30% off. It's a lot of money. All right. Anyways, <laughs> but all that information will be down below, guys. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Let us know in the comments down below if you want to see some more iguana hunting. I think those were some good shots after I messed up a couple times. Yeah, but awesome. it was fun. So I can't wait to get the big boys because here comes summer. But um, <laughs> all right, guys, until our next awesome adventure, follow, follow your, your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Chug, chug, chug. It's Taco Saturday. <laughs>